In this video I'm going to make a demonstration on how the uh, control signals can be sent via internet uh, into the uh, quadcopter flight controller. So my quad I have the NASA MV2 flight controller, I have the uh, GSM receiver board which is connected to internet via this 4G uh, GSM modem. Uh, again on the receiver board I have the camera for FPV and on the quad I also have the separate GPS sensor which allows me to see where my quad is, the location of the quadcopter on the map uh, in the control panel. Um, so actually this uh, G GSM uh, receiver board uh, is basically what NASA called the traditional receiver uh, which sends the signals uh, via the five channels uh, the four channels with these wires right here is for uh, pitch roll throttle and yaw and this white wire is for uh, three position switch. So um, it, it, ha it takes the 5 volts power from the NASA, uh, these two red wires and two black wires are 5 volts in and ground and these four wires goes to the GPS um, antenna and sensor so and then another one another channel uh, ADC channel which is connected to the battery to see the uh, voltage okay so here on the computer I have the NASA setup application I am on the basic RC menu I have the traditional receiver selected and on iPad it is right here I have the control panel the control panel is basically the web application so it can be opened in pretty much any browser um, and in any uh, device it could be the Android device as well, not only uh, iPad. Um, so, in order to connect to receiver, I press this button. It is connected. I receive the camera stream. It is right here. So. This is the live camera stream. It's my hand. Okay, so and in order to control it, what you do is that basically you have the this pad which is control for roll and pitch. This pad is control for yaw, and this is the throttle control. So when I move forward, move my finger on this pad, you see that this E channel changes as well. And then I can move left and right, downwards, upwards. Also the same is for the throttle and for yaw. Okay, so this red spot means that that the actual signal which was received by NASA, and the green one, the signal which I am going to send to NASA. 
okay so it is a bit of latency still but in the real world in the flight it actually works quite good and for throttle there is a little green bar right here is actually means the same thing the green bar is the signal which is which was received by NASA and the yellow one is the one which is supposed to be sent to NASA and the same for yaw control so there are a few other options right here it, I can press the button uh, which means that channel calibration so I can calibrate uh, in this uh, in the NASA application I can start the calibration press the calibration here and it will calibrate the these pads the control signals also I have the GPS ATTI mode switch press this button you see that it switches from GPS to ATTI and back and this red pad right here means the fail safe mode so when it, when it feels like I need a fail safe just press this and it goes into the fail safe so I can move back to to GPS okay and another option right here is that I can start the GSM uh, signal to, to measure the GSM signal strength um, I have this green bar green color which means that the signal is good uh, the other options could be the light green for excellent signal uh, the yellow for average and the uh, red for bad signal so basically that's it Thanks for watching.